dude, the I haven't been hyped for this Nintendo Direct, but since this is okay, I predict I've been predicting Pikmin 4 coming to a Nintendo Direct for over two years now, and it's become kind of a meme at this point. Uh, that I think Pikmin 4 is going to be announced at every major Nintendo Direct for the last two years, but I feel like out of all those times, this is the best time to announce it. The best time. All the stars are aligned. And I know I say that every time. And the reason is because it becomes more and more likely as time goes on since we've known about it for so long. Um, but really, if it's not announced after this direct, um, I don't know. I'm worried about the project. I don't know if it'll come out or anything. Normally, I wouldn't, uh, Normally, for any other game, I wouldn't be uh, as adamant about it being announced. But since Miyamoto has continually said it's almost done, it's almost done on all these little interviews. And then the situation with the Wii U and the Switch. Um, I've been holding out a lot longer for this game than uh, I would for any other game because of the unique circumstances. But if it's not announced at this direct, I don't expect it. I don't know. I'll probably keep predicting. Oh, it'll be this direct. It'll be this direct. E3 2018. That's the year, guys. I remember I made a speculation video about Pikmin 4. And I put in a thumbnail. E3 2015, 2016, 2017. And 2017 was like, okay, it'll definitely be announced and out by 2017. But let's just put it in there because it's the next year. We're already past E3 2017. It hasn't been announced yet. But I'm ready for it to be announced now. I have my Bob Orb here ready to witness his reaction to this. This is going to be his face exactly when it be becomes announced. <sighs> Hype! We have yellow Pikmin here. Blue Pikmin here. <coughs> poison Pikmin here. So if it's not announced, I can just kill myself. And I don't have my red Pikmin here because I can't find it. But I have my beautiful Amiibo. We have Olimar here ready to witness this. And his Pikmin. This, this is my favorite Amiibo to date. It's actually really nice on all the details. I like how you can see the blue Pikmin struggling to climb up this little structure. And there's even a little bolt nut or bolt or screw or whatever right here. Have a nice texture on the rock Pikmin. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm hyped. Uh, but I feel like I may get disappointed. We'll see. We'll see. If the first announcement is Pikmin 4, I'll go insane. Um, either way, though, I think this is going to be a great direct because Mario Odyssey news. There's so many great Nintendo games coming out. This is the best time in the world to be a Nintendo fan, especially if you own the Nintendo Switch. Dude... We have Mario Odyssey, first time in 15 years that we're getting a brand new fully 3D Mario game. My favorite type of Mario games. We have, sorry that I'm not looking at the camera, I'm kind of looking at the screen. I probably should be looking at the camera for this before it starts. Um, we have great games like Mario and Rabbids is happening. We have a bunch of Wii U ports coming to Switch. The Switch itself is just a great console. It can be used on the TV and on the go. This is the perfect time to be a Nintendo fan. Everything is just great right now. And this Direct needs to deliver on more greatness. It needs to get me as hyped as I was from the E3 Direct. But with even more info. Like this is the stuff that they could have shown at E3. But they wanted to save up and make sure it was really good and ready to show off. This is like the leftovers of E3, but more developed. In my opinion, that's what this should be. Anyways, I'm going to close my window so I stop looking at my face uh, in the webcam preview. And I'm going to minimize this. And we should have the Nintendo Direct starting at any time now. Or within the next minute. I'm super hyped. I love the chat. Everyone's like, Knack 3, Melee HD. Can we please get a Knack 3 announcement? Knack on Switch. Dude, that'd be so... I mean, Donkey predicted uh, Donkey Kong got 3, so... If we get Donkey Kong got 3, that's definitely gonna be a meme. Also, I should close Twitter, because, um... <clears throat> if Pikmin 4 gets announced... 
I'm guessing I'm gonna have a lot of mentions since I'm kind of notorious for false predicting Pikmin 4. One of these days I'm gonna get it right. Okay, here we go, here we go. We'll begin with Nintendo 3DS for our first spotlight title of the day. Ah, uh, 3DS. Okay. Woo, another Pokemon game. Whee, yippee. Can we just kill the 3DS? I'm so done with it, dude. Especially after Hey Pikmin, like... The only thing that's come good out of 3DS this year is the existence of this amiibo. I don't mean to bash Pokemon fans, but how can you get hyped about this shit when it happens so often? Like, oh, a new version of this game with a new map, form! Like a it's like, oh, wow. Gather, and what the Burst fuck? And UB Assembly will make their debut. With UB okay. Burst and Pokemon Ultra Sun, and UB Assembly and Pokemon Ultra Moon. That's the latest news I have, so please follow our coverage to see these ultra Ran out of Pokemon ideas, so let's just put a fucking the Pokemon block ultra of bricks with Pokemon an eyeball. Ultra Moon games launch November 17th. Well, okay, if they're starting with 3DS games, that means that they're ending with Switch, and usually they have their big announcements at the end, so, um... I don't mind waiting through this if we get some big Switch announcements like Pikmin 4. Wait, is this a 3D Kirby game? That just, uh, flew over my head, the fact that this is actually in 3D. Which hasn't happened for Kirby. Basically ever. Kirby Battle Royale will fight its way here January 19th, 2018. If you missed out on the original Yokai Watch game, you passed up one of the biggest smash hits in Japan uh, of the last 10 years. But now's a great chance to jump into in the Japan, series with but the not ultimate here. version of Yokai Watch, Watch 2, including all new content and features. If you already own a version of Yokai Watch 2, you'll be able to download a free Oni Evolution what software the fuck? tomorrow that adds in new There's features. There's that many versions of the, the same game. To befriend okay. Nintendo fans will have another way uh, to play Minecraft. Coming to new Nintendo 3DS really? systems. Really? That's actually surprising. I play in survival or creative didn't modes. I think they put Minecraft on 3DS. Use the included five skin packs and the two texture packs to customize your game. Your inventory, crafting, and map will be displayed on the touch screen, and you can choose between buttons or touch controls. Minecraft Is it bad Nintendo that I actually kind of like this and a little tempted to today buy it even though I'm probably not going right to buy this presentation. The package it, version will launch at a later date. Especially since the Switch version is superior and also handheld. I don't know, For that years, just looks cool to me. The Mario Party series brought us together around our home consoles Wait, ever since the original launch on what? Nintendo 64. We partied like it was 1999 because it was. <gasps> and now the best mini games from all ten home consoles. Oh, uh, just are mini games? On Nintendo 3DS. We've curated the, <laughs> the best ten <laughs> the most ever in a single <laughs> Mario Party title to create the best one yet. The game nice. Download play for up to four people. So nice. Card, any of your friends with a Nintendo 3DS family system can finally they realize that the tour, they just the need to remake the old ones. And memories the series has to offer. When Mario Party The Top 100 launches on Nintendo 3DS November 10th. I'm actually going to get that. Days, Especially Metroid, if you can Sam's play it Returns online, dude. On Nintendo 3DS. And everyone from if, they can, if you can play that shit online, take notice. Insta buy. If not, side -scrolling eh, adventure contains immersive I'm still going to buy it, but not as good. Gameplay, versatile weaponry, powerful new abilities, and some truly wicked bosses. It kind of sucks that they're only remaking the mini games, though. Ooh, another old school RPG on 3DS. Uh, I never had that before. Ooh. Why the fuck does a 3DS have so many RPGs, something else that releases today? The new Etrian Odyssey 5 Beyond the Myth demo. Okay, this is actually good, not this news in particular. But they went through all the 3DS shit in 10 minutes. So that means 35 minutes of Switch. Now, let's, let's move on to go. Switch. Let's go. We're taking things off with a trailer for our next spotlight title, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Please take a look. Okay.
This Pikmin 4 better be spotty type. A world covered in a sea of clouds. Another RPG. Blah, 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 of that way, the anime and weebs and over sexualized fucking female cartoons with no away. noses, so like it's just not for me. So, switching blades, and I kind of like Xenoblade, the original, a bit. So, I'm definitely not getting this a launch, but I'm thinking I might get it eventually if I end up. Beating the original Xenoblade and Xenoblade Chronicles X, which will take a long time, but... I don't know, this just doesn't have the Xenoblade feel. When I watch this, I don't feel like it's Xenoblade because of the art style. Even though I think the original Xenoblade was, like, kind of half anime, but not, like... Not really that much, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but... You can pick up the three blades in the battle with you. I wonder how n hardcore Xenoblade fans, but non-anime fans, feel about this. It's important to switch blades and. Cause I mean, just look at that fucking girl in the middle, dude. Like. Party members. Also, this announcer is fucking resident sleeper, dude. Is anyone resident sleepering in the chat? Oh my god, dude! It's just resident sleeper. This fucking guy, dude. Maybe I should just keep the, the chat open. I wanted to close it to not get spoiled of the new announcement, but this is the only thing keeping me sane through this, if I'm gonna be honest. Oh, that actually looks pretty cool. Speaking of Nintendo Switch, we have some more headlines get it. for you. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Splatoon 2 is one happening uh. game. Backed by popular demand, it's Kelp Dome. Now with some fresh twists. Like an nice. extra to through and a bit of added turf on each side for your inking pleasure. They need Watch to add ba add back more old Splatoon 1 maps. I feel like it's such a waste to not have them. For something new. I like this headline way this headline way of showing the news much better than the spotlight. The spotlight just makes me want to kill myself with boredom. But this it just like if there's something interested I'm interested in I can see it, and then if I'm not interested in it, it'll just be gone pretty relatively quickly, so. Plus? Nice. A new expanded version of the game that packs in all the paper antics of the original, plus more than 30 new I love this game. Including a world based on comic books, and a toy box world too. Oh, and get this. Tell me the update's the new free. lets you replay all the original stages in a brand new way. You start with one of many random body shapes that will require some hilarious new approaches. So fans of this cult hit and newcomers alike can enjoy all of this new content with friends and family. Snipper Clips Plus, Cut It Out Together launches November 10th. Uh, it's probably not going to be a free update. This content will also be available for current owners of the original game to purchase as DLC in Nintendo eShop. Okay, that's good. I don't want to rebuy the entire game, like so hopefully before. it's like a discounted price to upgrade. Change your size to change your powers in Morphe's Law, a local and online team-based multiplayer shooter coming This looks Nintendo like a shitty Switch. indie game. With teams of shape-shifting robots, this is no ordinary shooter. Hitting a Morphe's body part will make it shrink, and make the same body part of that shooter grow. As the size of each body part changes, your abilities will change too. Oh, I think I saw a prototype for this a long time ago. But it wasn't related to the Switch in any way. Your hand size changes the way you use your grappling hook. Clever players might even transform their allies on purpose. Your team's avatar is only as big as your team members combined, so keep it safe. The team with the tallest avatar wins the round. Morphe's Law launches first on Nintendo Switch as a console exclusive. Oh, I think I did see like a prototype of this game like a while ago, and I thought it looked cool, and now Nintendo's picking up. That's great. I'm definitely gonna buy that. Rocket League is Rocket League launches on Nintendo Switch this holiday season.
Nice. I still haven't gone Rocket League, so Arena I'm gonna wait for the Switch version. A multiplayer to get online it. battle arena game MOBA designed by the experts. MOBA on Switch. Explore and command oh my a god. roster of over 35 fearless heroes. Wait. With roles this looks including like tanks, assassins, mages, support, warriors, and marksmen. Build the ultimate team with your friends to crush your opponents. In How would a MOBA control on battles. Switch? First blood, double kill, triple kill, and all the features MOBA fans know and love will be included. Discover and dominate Wait. all the gameplay modes. How would it control 5v5, though? 3v3, 1v1, and a unique Hook Wars mode that will challenge your skills and prove your valor as a true champion. Draw first blood, carry your team to the finish line, and become a legend in the arena. Arena of Valor beta test version will be available for free this winter. Live another life. Nice, another I'm definitely trying that. Coming to Nintendo I'm so curious on how that will control. And if it can We're control well, I really want to see Nintendo make their own MOBA, the kind of like how they made their own shooter with Splatoon. I really want to see that. Where you can virtually be anyone in this version of the game launches exclusively on Nintendo Switch November 17th. In Europe and oh, the there's Americas. so many Switch games I want to buy. My wallet's gonna be the fucking Bethesda weeping, Softworks dude. Is bringing two iconic first-person shooters to Nintendo Switch. Id Software, the studio that pioneered the genre, is bringing the critically acclaimed Doom to your TV and anywhere you want to be. Slay hordes of demons with oh death saving guns play this and too. player and crush your friends in my wallet. I still haven't bought Rabbids Kingdom Battle, holiday. and I really want to get that too. too God damn it, dude! To liberate a Nazi-controlled America. All right, game fans, it's quiz time. Wait, Recognize virtual console? Or... It certainly has been a while, but finally, after many years, our arcade titles are making a return. And the first one is... Really? Mario Brothers. By sharing your joy Dude, we've been able to play Mario Brothers again since I mean, Game Boy Advance. To win, but unlike other amiibo, they'll conjure up headgear based on the champion's divine beasts. Oh, nice. And we'll have more info. I'm not gonna get the amiibo, but that's really cool. Whether you compete in a brand new RPG in development at Square Enix, it also RPG, dude, I'm so sick of RPGs. I know it's just me, who personally doesn't like RPGs that much, but we've been getting an overdose of RPGs on 3DS and Switch. Like on Switch is fine. You need to like create the library, but oh my god. Eight travelers I'm just so tired of seeing games like this. Step into their shoes and explore the realm as you see fit. Eight brave souls, each with a unique <sighs> talent. Eight lands, eight stories. Brave to kids who came from nowhere so go on a journey to become a hero. What and in this in RPG time? that is super original, buy it. How can game developers use, how can game developers even like developing this shit when it's literally the copy paste of so many other games? It's like, how can you be satisfied making something so ununique? Bring us a new fantasy. Wait, I just realized all three Spotlight games have been RPGs. All three of them. What? The dancer Primrose, on the other hand, can allure others into following her. But what about combat? In this game, battles are a fusion of simple pick up and play, turn based battles, and all new mechanics. What about combat? It's Final Fantasy clone. Oh, can we move on? One such mechanic is the boost system, which allows you to accumulate boost points with each turn you take in battle. Succeed, and you may just rebuild Aleph Guard. Okay, this looks a, a little more fun than the typical. Nintendo RPG a fucking rehashed garbage that I've been seeing. I'm sure they're fun games, but they all look the fucking same, so Nintendo this is a breath of fresh air for me to an extent. It's like a fucking Minecraft RPG edition. Dragon Quest Builders is planned for release in spring 2018. By working together, you can initiate team up attacks, like a stone drop using ESP, and many more, depending on your ally's copy of Nice. This looks a lot better than Return to Dreamland, which were just Meta Knight, uh, Waddle D and DDD. Now you can actually play as like a shit ton of other characters, like in Superstar. I might get this game. It looks really fun. Another RPG. 
Rockstar Games is bringing L.A. Noir to Nintendo Switch on November 14th, Whoa. featuring all of its downloadable content, new collectibles, detective suits with special abilities. Rockstar bringing Rock games to Switch? New, wide oh boy, this bodes angle, well. Plus this is, this is great, dude. Work. That's the last quick headline for Nintendo Switch. I'm hyped However, for what, uh, what other things they want to bring to Switch. We have one last game to talk about today. Do it, Pikmin 4! Pikmin 4! Pikmin 4! Pik- Oh yeah, I forgot. They need to talk about Mario Odyssey. <laughs> but still, talk about Pikmin 4. Hello everyone. I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi, the producer of Super Mario Odyssey for Nintendo Switch. Today we're going to recap a little of what we've already shown, but also reveal some new information about the game as well. Okay, this is probably Mario gonna be the last game. We have like seven Bowser minutes left. To marry Princess Peach. Uh. Fossil Falls and the Cascade Kingdom. The Cascade today, Kingdom looks so nice. Time, we're introducing Shiveria in the Snow Kingdom. This ice cold realm will chill you to the core. Holy shit. It looks ominous as fuck. Now, take a He's look at Bubble Lane in the Seaside Kingdom. A it's a Mario Sunshine. For many, thanks to its gorgeous crystal clear waters. Oh, they should have the added like Al Dalfina. Refreshing fizz, like it's carbonated. Oh, nice. Well, we won't spoil them all. Oh, that reminds me Mario of the Turbo Nozzle. To visit, including tropical islands. Oh my God! <laughs> to get from place to place, Mario so many is cool things. traveling in style, aboard his cap-shaped ship. The Odyssey. It runs on power moons scattered across the world. So make sure to explore every corner oh of the world God. using every move at your disposal. Dude, you can become a man. If you collect Holy them shit, all, dude. Neat may this game. I love how unique this game is. Holy shit. Having trouble hunting down power moons? Then try talking to Takatu for hints. You could also give a few coins to the Hint Toad, or even tap Amiibo with some help from Uncle Amiibo to reveal a Power Moon's location. Uncle on the Amiibo? If you're feeling stuck, it's worth a shot. Yahoo! And don't forget to let the Caveman Mario Flintstones from Crazy Cat. Grand Dad. Nice, dude. This is gonna be so great. All the memes coming out of this. We've taken Holy great shit. care in creating these this game's perfect, dude. environments for you to explore, and make the most of Mario's new and familiar moves. We made sure the game is chock full of classic gameplay elements, alongside a wide world of things you've never done before. See, that's the way you bring back classic gameplay. Even Not like in Forces, right where you just shove classic first, Sonic levels thanks in. Thanks to its lyrics, sung by the one and only Pauline. I hope you're ready for more surprises. you go into paintings, too? Oh my god. What the fuck? You could play as the logos, dude. This shit Super looks Mario amazing. Odyssey. Holy fuck. Nintendo Switch, October oh my god, dude. I'm gonna be rushing to the store These that day, dude. Amiibo figures will be available that same day, both individually and as a set. As you can see, they'll come in handy during your adventure. And all other Amiibo are supported. Alongside Holy the fuck. game, we're also releasing a special hardware bundle, including the Super Mario Odyssey software. If nobody owns a Switch, here, along with buy that. Buy that. Buy that version. Holy fuck. We'll continue to Kinda makes me wish I didn't get a Switch at launch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't be that surprised that there's still no Pikmin 4. Although, it's fucking taking forever. Miyamoto two years ago said, it's almost close to completion. I may understand a couple of years delay because of fucking moving the development from Wii U to Switch. But... Holy fuck, dude. When are they gonna announce that shit? <sighs> I've almost given up at this point. But this Nintendo Direct has been really good, really solid. Nothing mind-blowing. 
but super solid. I'm super interested in that MOBA coming to uh, Nintendo Switch, and I'm super interested in Morphe's Law. I think that's what it was called. Even though those were two very small games. And of course, as always, I'm hyped to get Mario Odyssey. I was already on board. Uh, no matter what they showed me, I would have got it regardless. But... Yeah, that was the Nintendo Direct. I think it was pretty good, except for the overload of fucking RPGs. I think there was way, way too many RPGs shown off. But I think that's been a problem with Nintendo Directs for a long time. Just with this one in particular, it felt like a huge overload. Anyways, thank you guys for watching my reactions, and I will see you guys later. Bye.